हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक माइक्रो इरिगेशन सिस्टम बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लेट इन इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग इन सीड इंडस्ट्री एंड एसोसिएटेड विद वन ऑफ द एम सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन Micro irrigation is defined as the frequent application of a small quantity of water directly above and below the soil surface usually as discrete drops continuous drops or tiny streams or miniature sprays through emitters placed along a water delivery line micro irrigation is a modern method of irrigation by this method water is irrigated through drippers sprinklers foggers and by other emitters on surface or sub surface of the land Micro irrigation also called localized irrigation, low volume irrigation, low flow irrigation or trickle irrigation is an irrigation method with lower pressure and flow than a traditional sprinkler system. Low volume irrigation is used in agriculture for row crops, orchards and vineyards. Micro irrigation system is effective in saving water, customized, efficient and long life system. increasing water use efficiency as compared to the conventional surface irrigation method reduced water consumption reduce growth of unwanted plants weeds control soil erosion and reduce cost of cultivation by saving labor and fertilizer cost micro irrigation can be adopted in all kind of land especially where it is not possible to effectively use flooding method for irrigation in flooding method of irrigation a field is flooded with water This results in significant runoff, anaerobic conditions in the soil and around the root zone, and deep irrigation below the root zone, which doesn't supply sufficient water to the plants. It is therefore one of the most inefficient surface irrigation methods. Micro irrigation can be useful in undulating terrain, rolling topography, hilly areas, barren lands, and areas having shallow soils. Features of micro irrigation system: Water is applied by a pressurized piping system micro irrigation requires pumps for developing the required pressure for delivering water through pipelines regardless of whether the source of water is surface or underground water is applied drop by drop for a long period in case of drip irrigation system water is applied at a low rate to maintain the optimum air and water balance within the root zone water is applied at frequent intervals as per the requirement of plants and water is supplied directly to the plants and not to the other areas of the fields thus reducing wastage soil moisture content is always maintained at field capacity of the soil hence crop growth will be faster rate and consistently and uniformly now we'll discuss classification of micro irrigation system micro irrigation system can be broadly classified into two categories first one is drip irrigation system and second is a sprinkler irrigation system however there are distinct differences in the water flow rate operating pressure requirement and measurement of the wetted area between drip and a sprinkler irrigation systems water flow rate means the amount of water discharge in an area at a particular time it is expressed in liter per minute or gallons per minute the system operating pressure must compensate for pressure losses through system component and field elevation effect in micro irrigation system water is applied drop by drop nearer the root zone area of the crop the drippers are fixed based on the spacing of crop many different types of emitters are available in the market they are classified as inline drippers online drippers micro tubes pressure compensated drippers etc drip irrigation is most suitable for wider spacing crops Micro sprinkler irrigation system is mostly followed in sandy or loamy soils. This system is most suitable to horticultural crops and small grasses. In this method water is sprinkled in a low height at various directions. Portable micro sprinklers are also available. They distribute slightly more water than drippers and micro sprinklers. They spray water in not more than 1 meter. It is used for preparing nursery and lawns in soils. with low water holding capacity drip irrigation system drip irrigation system also known as trickle irrigation system is a method of applying the required amount of water directly to the root zones of plants through drippers or emitters at frequent intervals 
ए साइंटिफिक मेथड ऑफ इरिगेशन कैरिंग डिजायर्ड वाटर एंड न्यूट्रिएंट्स डायरेक्ट टू द रूट जोन ऑफ द प्लांट ड्रॉप बाय ड्रॉप ड्रिप इरिगेशन इज प्रोबेबली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव मेथड्स ऑफ वाटर एप्लीकेशन इट जनरेट्स ए रिस्ट्रिक्टेड रूट सिस्टम रिक्वायरिंग फ्रीक्वेंट न्यूट्रिएंट सप्लाई दिस मे बी सेटिस्फाइड बाय अप्लाइंग फर्टिलाइजर विथ इरिगेशन वाटर बाय फर्टिगेशन इन दिस पिक्चर वी हैव सोन द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ड्रिप इरिगेशन एंड हाउ दिज हैज बीन structured for the supply of irrigation water to the plants drip irrigation is the most efficient water and nutrient delivery system for growing crops it delivers water and nutrients directly to the plants roots in the right amounts at the right time so each plant gets exactly what it needs when it needs to grow optimally thanks for drip irrigation farmers can produce higher yields while saving on water as well as fertilizers energy and even crop protection products how drip irrigation works water and nutrients are delivered across the fields in pipes called dripper lines featuring a small units known as drippers each drippers emits drops containing water and fertilizers resulting in the uniform application of water and nutrients directly to each plant's root zone across an entire field In drip irrigation the emitted water moves within the soil system largely by unsaturated flow the water moves into the soil and wets the root zone of plants vertically by gravity and laterally by capillary action the lateral movement of water beneath the surface is greater in medium to heavy soil as compared to sandy soil the wetted soil area for widely spaced emitters will normally be elliptical in shape drip irrigation can be used on windy days and during various land operations in this picture we have shown the different components of drip irrigation like drip tape drip tubes drippers emitting pipes drip lines control and safety valves polyfitting and accessories filters etc now to study types of drip irrigation system drip irrigation system can be classified in five systems first one is surface drip irrigation second is subsurface drip irrigation third one is family drip irrigation fourth is online drip irrigation and fifth is inline drip irrigation now we will discuss about each drip irrigation system in details first drip irrigation method is surface drip irrigation surface drip irrigation is used to irrigate perennial crops and annual crops having high value as vegetable crops tomato broccoli celery cauliflower spinach cholera bee leaf lettuce etc In this irrigation system drip tubes are placed on soil surface. Second drip irrigation is subsurface drip irrigation. Subsurface drip irrigation is a method of irrigating crops through buried plastic tubes containing embedded emitters located at regular spacings. A subsurface drip irrigation system has a similar design as surface drip irrigation system but in this case the drip tubes are typically placed below the soil surface. In subsurface drip irrigation evaporation is minimized and water is used more efficiently as compared to surface irrigation. So that is the difference between surface and drip irrigation. In case of surface the tubes are below the soil while in case of surface drip irrigation the drip tubes are above the soil surface. Third drip irrigation method is family drip or gravity fed drip irrigation. Family drip or gravity fed drip irrigation system is a low cost system. developed for a small family plots it is suitable for house gardening and peri urban agriculture fourth drip irrigation system is online drip irrigation in this system emitters or drippers are fixed externally on the laterals at designated spacings thus the drippers can be checked and cleaned easily in case of clogging it is generally used for irrigating horticultural plants like mango coconut orange lemon banana grapes pomegranate papaya sapota guava teakwood bamboo amla etc fifth method of drip irrigation is inline drip irrigation in this system drippers are fixed in the lateral tube at designed spacing at the time of manufacturing to meet the requirement of various crops it is effective for row crops like cotton sugarcane groundnut vegetables and flowering crops dripper spacing depends on the water requirement of a crop and the water holding capacity of the soil once installed the dripper spacing cannot be changed now we will study about advantages of drip irrigation system there will be water saving and higher yield 
मोस्ट इफिशियंट इरीगेशन मैथड्स विथ नाइन्टी फाइव टू हंड्रेड परसेंट वाटर यूज इफिशियंसी हाई क्वालिटी एंड इनक्रीज फ्रूट साइज सुटेबल फॉर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ सॉयल इन केस ऑफ अंडुलेटिंग टेरेंस सेलाइन सॉयल्स वाटर लॉक्ड सेंडी एंड हिली लैंडस कैन ऑल्सो भी ब्रॉड अंडर प्रोडक्टिव कल्टिवेशन एंड देर विल भी हंड्रेड परसेंट लैंड यूटिलाइजेशन दिस इज द इजी मैथड ऑफ फर्टिगेशन एंड कैमिगेशन कॉस्ट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स इंटरकल्चरिंग एंड लेबर यूज गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड क्रॉप ग्रोज कंसिस्टेंटली हेल्दियर एंड मैच्योर फास्ट अर्ली मेच्योरिटी रिजल्ट इन हायर एंड फास्टर रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट फर्टिलाइजर यूज इफिशियंसी इंक्रीजेज बाई थर्टी परसेंट देर विल बी एनर्जी सेविंग ड्रीप इरीगेशन वर्क ऑन लो प्रेशर एनी क्रॉप कैन बी ग्रोन यूजिंग ड्रीप इरीगेशन फ्रॉम फील्ड क्रॉप सच एज कॉर्न सोयाबीन और शुगर कैन टू वेजिटेबल्स एंड ट्री क्रॉप आइदर ग्रोइंग इन सॉयल और इन सॉयलेस मीडिया ड्रीप इरीगेशन इज सुटेबल डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ ड्रीप इरीगेशन सिस्टम देर विल बी हाई इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट चांसेस फॉर क्लॉगिंग ऑफ इमीटर्स एंड पॉसिबल डैमेज ऑफ सिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स सो देर इज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ड्रिप सिस्टम बैक वॉशिंग एंड सेंट फिल्टर्स हैज टू बी क्लीनड फ्रिक्वेंट क्लीनिंग ऑफ इमीटर्स एंड ड्रिपर्स फ्लशिंग एट एवरी इरीगेशन क्लीनिंग ऑफ सब मेन एंड मेन्स पाइप्स क्लीनिंग ऑफ पी बी सी पाइप्स एंड लेटरल्स एंड एसिड और क्लोरिन मे बी यूज टू रिमूव क्लॉगिंग नव विल स्टडी अबाउट सेकेंड मैथड ऑफ माइक्रो इरीगेशन स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इज अ मैथड ऑफ अप्लाइंग इरीगेशन वाटर विच इज सिमिलर टू रेनफॉल वाटर इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू ए सिस्टम ऑफ पाइप यूजली बाई पंपिंग इट इज देन स्प्रेड इन टू द एयर एंड इरीगेटेड इंटायर सोयल सर्फेस थ्रो अस्प्रे हेड्स सो दैट इट ब्रेक्स अप इन टू स्मॉल वाटर ड्रॉप्स विच फॉल्स टू द ग्राउंड स्प्रिंकलर्स प्रोवाइड इफिशियंट कवरेज फॉर स्मॉल टू लार्ज एरियाज एंड आर सुटेबल फॉर यूज ऑन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज इट इज ऑल्सो एडेप्टेबल टू नियरली ऑल इरीगेबल सोयल्स सिंस स्प्रिंकलर्स आर अवेलेबल इन ए वाइड रेंज ऑफ डिस्चार्ज कैपेसिटी इफ ए फील्ड साइट इज नॉन टू बी विंडी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ए स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन विल नॉट बी सुटेबल द स्प्रिंकलर ब्रेक्स अप द वाटर इन टू ड्रॉपलेट्स साइज ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर मिलीमीटर्स द ड्रॉप साइज इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई प्रेसर एंड नोजल साइज ऑफ द स्प्रिंकलर्स द एवरेज रेट एट विच वाटर इज स्प्रेड ऑन टू द क्रॉप इज मेजर्ड इन मिलीमीटर पर आवर स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इज सुटेबल फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल फील्ड क्रॉप लाइक व्हीट ग्राम पल्सेस एज वेल एज वेजिटेबल्स कॉटन सोयाबीन टी कॉफी एंड अदर फॉर्डर क्रॉप दिस इज ऑल्सो सुटेबल फॉर रेजिडेंशियल इंडस्ट्रियल होटल रिसोर्ट्स पब्लिक एंड गवर्नमेंट इंटरप्राइजेस गोल्फ लिंक्स एंड रेस कोर्सेस द अप्लीकेशन रेट डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइज ऑफ स्प्रिंकलर नोजल्स ऑपरेटिंग प्रेशर एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द स्प्रिंकलर्स द एप्लीकेशन रेट मस्ट नॉट एक्सीड द मैक्सिमम एलेवेबल इन फिल्ट्रेशन रेट फॉर द सॉयल टाइप एक्सेस एप्लीकेशन रेट विल रिजल्ट इन वाटर लॉस सॉयल इरोजन एंड सरफेस सीलिंग देर मे बी इनएडिक्वेट मॉइस्चर इन द रूट जोन ऑफ क्रॉप्स और प्लांट्स आफ्टर इरीगेशन एंड दे मे गेट डैमेज नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन सिस्टम्स दिस इज ऑफ सिक्स टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज सेंटर पाइवर्ट स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन सेकेंड इज टोएबल पाइवर्ट स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन थर्ड इज रेनगन स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन फोर्थ वन इज इम्पैक्ट स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन फिफ्थ इज पॉपअप स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन एंड सिक्स इज लिनियर मूव स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन सो नाउ वील स्टडी अबाउट इच टाइप्स ऑफ स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इन डिटेल्स फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इज सेंटर पाइवर्ट स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन द सेंटर पाइवर्ट इज कैपेबल ऑफ इरीगेटिंग मोस्ट फील्ड क्रॉप इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सिंगल स्प्रिंकलर लेटरल सपोर्टेड बाई ए सीरीज ऑफ टावर्स इट इज एंकर्ड एट वन इंड एंड रोटेट्स अराउंड ए फिक्सड सेंट्रल पॉइंट कॉल्ड पाइवर्ट पॉइंट द कंट्रोल पैनल अटैच टू द पाइवर्ट पॉइंट गिव्स कमांड्स टू द सेंट्रल पाइवर्ट मशीन ए ड्राइव यूनिट और ड्राइव टावर टचेज द ग्राउंड विच कंटेन्स नेसेसरी कंपोनेंट्स फॉर द मशीन टू मूव सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इज टोएबल पाइवर्ट टोएबल पाइवर्ट इज सिमिलर टू सेंटर पाइवर्ट बट हेयर द पाइवर्ट इज टोर्ड एवे बाई ट्रैक्टर देर आर थ्री टू फोर व्हील्स इन द सेंटर ऑफ द पाइवर्ट विच मेक इट पॉसिबल टू मूव द पाइवर्ट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर बाई पुलिंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रैक्टर इट हेल्प फार्मर टू कैरी आउट मेकेनाइज इरीगेशन इन एन इकोनॉमिकल मैनर 
it can easily irrigate fields as the machine can be towed away from one field to another in minimum time. Third type of sprinkler irrigation is rain gun. A rain gun is used as a water spray, mist or fog beam. It is used to irrigate trees and other crops separated widely. Fruit tree crops like citrus fruits, mango, guava, avocado etc. can be irrigated with a rain gun. The passage diameter of the rain gun is small. Therefore, the release of filtered water is essential. Rain gun is suitable for field crops like groundnut, onion, potato, sugarcane, cotton and plantation crops such as coffee and tea. Fourth type of sprinkler irrigation is impact sprinkler. This sprinkler is driven in a circular motion by the force of outgoing water and at least one of its arm extends from the head. The sprinkler arm is repeatedly pushed back into the water stream by a spring. Impact sprinkler is recommended for closely spaced field crops like potato, leafy vegetables, cotton, oil seed, pulses, cereals, fodder crops, etc. Fifth type of sprinkler irrigation is pop-up sprinkler. A pop-up sprinkler consists of an inlet, body, cap, wiper seal, riser, nozzle and radius adjustment screw. Such a sprinkler is portable and easy to install, thereby making it ideal for irrigating lawns, seasonal flowers and planting beds. Sixth type of sprinkler irrigation is linear move sprinkler. Linear move sprinkler irrigation system is similar to the center pivot system in construction except that neither end of the lateral pipeline is fixed. It is composed of a series of towers that are suspended and move laterally in the direction of rows. The whole line moves down the field perpendicular to the lateral. Water delivery to the continuously moving lateral is by a flexible hose or open ditch pickup. Both the center pivot and linear move systems are capable of high efficiency water application. Now we will study about micro sprinklers. Micro sprinklers are emitters, commonly known as sprinklers or spray heads. They operate by spreading water through air, usually in predetermined patterns. Depending on the water throw patterns, micro sprinklers are referred to as mini sprays, micro sprays, jets, or spinners. The sprinkler heads are external emitters, individually connected to lateral pipes, typically using what can be called micro tubes or a small diameter tubing. The sprinkler heads can be mounted on a support stack of 25 to 30 centimeters height from soil surface connected to the supply pipe. Micro sprinkler system requires less energy and generally operates at a pressure range of 1 to 3 kg per square centimeter. Other types of micro irrigation system. First one is bubbler irrigation. Bubblers are used to irrigate bigger areas and apply water on per plant basis. Water from the bubbler heads either runs down from the emission devices or spreads a few inches in umbrella pattern. Bubbler emitters dissipate water pressure through a variety of diaphragm material and deflect water through a small orifices. Bubbler emission devices are equipped with single or multiple port outlets. Bubblers are available in adjustable flow and pressure compensating types. Second one is spray irrigation. In this system, jets, foggers, or misters, also called spitters, are used. Water is applied only to a fraction of the ground surface. However, instead of dripping water from narrow orifice meters, micro sprayer systems eject fine jets that fan out from a series of nozzles. Each nozzle can water an area of several square meters, which tends to be much larger than individual areas weighted by a single drip emitter. Here to study the advantages of micro irrigation system. It helps in saving water, uniform water application, helps in saving electricity, improves chemical application, reduces weeds and diseases, improves tolerance of crops to soil salinity, suitable to various topography and soil types, regulates water through automation, reduces labor costs, improve quality and yields, and controls soil erosion. So this was all about micro irrigation system. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. See you again shortly. 
I have given here my YouTube channel details, Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedbacks. Thank you.